Hello and welcome to VMware ARIA Automation Getting Started video series, Your Journey to Success. In this video, the Automation Assembler Administrator will use onboarding plans to bring discovered machines under the ARIA Automation Management. We will launch VMware ARIA Automation Service, click on ARIA Automation Assembler, and then navigate to Infrastructure Onboarding from the top menu. We know by now that when you add a cloud account containing machines deployed outside of ARIA Automation, it's automatically labeled as discovered machines. The Automation Assembler administrators can use onboarding plans to bring discovered machines into ARIA Automation Management, where you can create a plan, populate it with discovered machines you want to onboard for a specific project, and then run the plan to import those machines into ARIA Automation which will result in creating one or more project deployments depending on how you configure the onboarding plan. Let's go ahead and create a new onboarding plan. We will provide a plan name and an optional description. Select the cloud account we want to import the machine from. Select the target project that will own and manage these deployments. Click Create to start configuring the onboarding plan. You can choose whether to allow the onboarded workloads to respect and count against established resource limits by toggling the Use Placement option. We will leave it toggled off for now. We will cover service broker governance policies in a future video. You can also specify any custom properties to add to all the machines in this plan used as metadata so let's add, for example, a project as the key and corp as the value. Next, we will click on the machines tab and then click add machines to import our machine. You can search for your machines by name, address, tags, or any known value. Here we will select the TechZone-01 virtual machine for this demo to import. Select Create Plan Deployment to create a new deployment for the selected machines. Alternatively, you can choose Add to Plan Deployment to add the selected machines to an existing deployment you previously created with onboarding plans. If you select more than one machine, you can create a plan deployment for each machine or create one plan deployment containing all the machines. You can always use the same onboarding plan to import more machines and create separate deployments at a later time. Next, we will switch to the Deployments tab to configure the deployment. We can see the deployment the onboarding plan will be creating and can expand it to see its components. We can select the deployment and rename the deployment name. We can also select the deployment and assign a project user as the owner. The administrator executing the onboarding plan will automatically become the deployment owner unless they explicitly assign a project user as the owner during the onboarding process, just like we did now. Finally, we can select the deployment and map it to an existing template or create a new one if we want to. Please note that the mapping of templates to onboarded deployment is only for visual parity for the end consumer. The onboarded deployments will not be compatible with a template and you will still need to configure the template later on so it's functional. We will cover ARIA automation templates in future video. We will keep it to none for now and click save. We can save our onboarding plan if we are not ready to run it yet and we can always click back on our onboarding plan and run it whenever we want to import those machines by clicking run. Now we can switch to the resources tab and watch our deployment getting created in action. Once created, we can take day two actions at the deployment level 
things like changing owner, changing project, changing lease, or the component level if we click on the deployment, select our machine component, and then click on the action menu. Looking at the history tab, we can check when the machine was onboarded and by whom. We can also see the change owner event. Suppose we navigate now to resources, deployment, virtual machines. We can see that the techzone-01 virtual machine is now a member of a deployment and has the onboarded origin instead of the discovered origin type we started with, indicating that ARIA Automation currently manages the virtual machine. This is the end of our Getting Started video series. We hope you find it helpful, and thank you for watching.